Hello and welcome to Woodland Sticks Part 4. In this video what we'll be doing is bending buffalo horn to try and either make a crook or a, a market stick. So that's the sort of thing we're looking to achieve. Nice shape, nice little handle, comfortable and it's out of buffalo horn. A lot easier to work than ram's horn because you've got no hollers to contend with. So that's what we're actually after making today. So what we need is the buffalo horn. It's quite a dense solid horn so it needs a lot of heat to actually get it to bend. Now my heat source, my camera can get in onto it. I'm just using a, 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 a gas boiling ring. An old pot stood on the top boiling away. Um, my horn is inside there getting nice and hot. That's been in there for about 45 minutes now. So that's about ready now to actually come out and bend. So I'll talk you through a few more bits. So that's how we normally get our buffalo horn to start with. So very dense, hard, heavy. So we need to trim that down. We don't want to try and bend all that. So trim it all down to take your back off. If you want a heel lift on your handle, like on the back of that one here, if you want the squarish heel, if you leave a little bit of buffalo horn sticking out proud, you come out there with your saw, that will then give you a, a heel when you bend. So you take some of the thickness away, so you've got a nice, so it's actually sort of round about the thickness of your, your stick already. Flatten your sides out, do a little bit of work and then pop it into boiling water and boil it for about three quarters of an hour. So once that's boiled then we can bend it. And what we're actually looking for is only a horseshoe shape. Once we've got the horseshoe shape and it's gone cold we can alter it, we can tighten it in further, uh, do a nose, do all sorts of things but our most important thing is getting the horseshoe shape. Now the other thing is this is my former and it's it's better to have a left and a right because a lot of horns, especially buffalo, they're not straight. They go off on an angle. Well, rather than put it in and the nose goes down, so you've got to try and lift it up. It's easier if it comes up in the air to start with. Then it's just a matter of putting a clamp onto there, pull it back down. And it makes it a lot easier to work if you've got a former like this which I've got made up so these are just bolted on and there's two of these made up for each each plate so I, the straight piece can actually come this side and I can bend it round so the nose is sticking up rather than down the other little thing is a little slither of wood just laid in there so when we bolt the when we clamp the horn in it's actually off of there so it helps us to bend because when it starts to bend it's a bit like your finger bend it and it swells the horn will do exactly the same it will blow out here so by having that just that little piece of wood in there that gives that horn somewhere to go to instead of pushing it up in the air so that's another little tip and that's quite handy right so the tools we need are loads of sash uh, loads of g clamps sash cramp i use a piece of pipe to do my bending i find that's a lot easier really than a lot of other things i say sash cramp hot air gun because heat is the most important thing with buffalo horn once it comes out of that boiler it's got to be kept hot and it's got to be bent and really there's no stopping you just have to keep going so you need everything ready all laid out ready for you for when you start so once it comes out as I say we use the hot air gun we carry on heating once it's all clamped into here and then we'll start to bring it round the sash clamp you're using a, a good sash clamp glue a little bit of sandpaper on, onto your face so when you're pulling it round when you've got it in there and you need your sash clamp that will just stop that from slipping off your horn and give it a good grip. So have that ready. 
have all the clamps ready so all opened up ready to go and, and away we go so what I'll do is I'll get the first or I'll get a horn out and we'll have a go at bending it right away so I'm going to clamp it straight in onto there and then keeping it hot I might need my cameraman to give me a bit of hand to keep it hot while I'm bending around it's so ideal if you've got two people use two people uh, it's, it can be a bit fiddly on your own I would say you need to go fairly quick Right, so I'll take my horn out there, so there's my horn, nice and hot, so in we go, hang on, I'll get the other one, that's a, that's a wrong handed one, right, so we'll go in there with that, so we clamp that on, and away we go, I'll take these off again, it's still fairly hot, Clamp onto the top. That's in place. Then my little heel has come onto that corner. I'll put another clamp into here. Clamp him up. So now he can't move anywhere. You can see, I've already got a bit of give in the hole. So straight in with the heat. Heat them all round, but don't heat the back. You heat the back, that's where they tend to tear. So get it really hot again. And you, so you can't overheat it. You just got to be careful. You don't want a lot of burn. They burn and they'll sort of crackle and pop and go ahead. So you don't really want to get a lot of burn on it. No doubt you'll see a little bit while I'm doing this. I'm going to say the horn is already starting to flex a bit. I'm going to say my pipe, my pipe just goes on to there and I can start to bend that round. So it's just a matter of getting it really hot again. And that'll go when it's ready. The voice is actually going to turn, so I'm just going to give it a tap. Alright, so here we go. So I have to get my cameraman now to come the other side of me. Come on the other side. It, hold it into there and just ease it round gently. Set the G clamp up a bit. See where you need more than one pair of hands to do this, John. Do I get some pressure on this? Let's take the body down further. Let's see how we get it. It's coming there, you know, see. See how it's all bulging up here and our heel is not seen to that. So we'll take that just 
So it's nearly in. Right, now we can let it go a bit. Shouldn't let these go while they're under pressure. If you do, you'll find it'll crack. So once you've started to bend it, there's no turning back really. Right, don't burn my fingers. Right, so I'm just going to push that nose down a bit. You can see the nose going down. Trying to get it all onto the plate. Right, so we're into that. Sorry, I'm well up. <coughs> right, thank you. Uh, yeah, carry on looping that bit there, I think. This bit. Now, I want to put a clamp at the back of this to stop that opening back up. So that's the most important thing is to not let it open up. So put that one into there. Now I'm going to take my sash clamp off because there's not a lot of room in the middle of the hall. And I'm going to pop him into there. So keep him heating. I'll shoot if you burn me. Stop the line. I say it's a fiddly job. Right, so now hopefully that sandpaper will get a grip. And we can start to bend the nose in. So we'll go in here nicely at the moment. Right, now we've got to come up a bit, so. Right, you're burning. I believe it they're doing. Turn it off. Right, so now it's just a matter of winding that nose right in to there. So now if a camera wants to come and have a look at it over the top, you'll actually see what um, what we've done about it. So you can see where where it's all bulged up onto that corner. That's where that little fillet of wood comes in handy. It just holds that off. So really, yes, all we're looking for is the horseshoe shape, which we've achieved there. Once we've got that, we're home and dry. Now the most important thing is leave it. Leave it overnight to go cold. Do not try and do anything to it while it's got the slightest bit of heat in, because it will open up and you'll end up with cracking in here and in here. Once you get that cracking, you won't get it out. It seems to want to go in deeper and deeper as you're trying. So we'll leave it at that now. We'll let it go cold. Uh, and then we'll bring out another video and actually show you how to round all that off, shape it all up uh, and bring it down to make a, a nice little market stick or a little crock. So we'll leave it at that for now. Let this go off. So the next video that come along, you'll see, we'll actually do the the shaping of the handle and fitting it onto the stick. So look forward to seeing you then. So it's, uh, we'll see.